Okay, time for an Alex play. Which game? Let's see, let's try out this one here. Hmm. Vib Ribbon. Let's give that a play. Yeah! Wait, no, no, don't dance, don't dance! Okay, uh, fuck it. Let's just do a free against video. Hey guys, Lex here with another fragrance video. So today I'll be talking about the wonderful house of Al Lahab and one of my favourite scents from them. This isn't my absolute favourite, that'd be to Choco Musk or Soft, but this one's still pretty damn good. It's Tutti Musk by Al Lahab. Again, no secure release date on this one, but anyway, so yeah, this is, um, I got this recently with a bunch of Al Lahabs and it just smells amazing. I love the name Tutti Musk, Tutti, Tutti Fruity, Tutti Musk, Tutti. <laughs> Enough of me. Anyhow, but yeah. So bottle design. Basic 6ml um, roll-on bottle here. So you have your uh, Arabic writing there. I know it's hard to see. The autofocus. Arabic writing there. Tutti Musk 6ml by Al Rahab. There the bottom. Yeah, my camera. I need If I turn on autofocus, I'll show you what I'm talking about. The only way to see this is with autofocus. So if I put this up here. Yeah, see there? But it sounds great just to leave it on, but as I'm moving about and talking, the camera sometimes decides to just go zzz, 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 and move about, so I'm going to turn it off for now that you saw that. So yeah, basic Alvahab on the top there, waiting on the bottom, and just, that's about it. Simple but effective, not bad. So yeah, how does this one smell? It's funny because with roll-ons I can't really say how is the sprayer. So, well, in fact we can, some roll-ons suck, so how is the roll with this one? Oh, stiff. Come on, move. There we go. <laughs> Finally, bit stiff, but got there. So, yeah. Now, <laughs> initial smell. This is going to smell like shampoo. And the shampoo I'm thinking of is um, going back to my childhood. The L'Oreal for kids with the wee eye on it. This one, that a baby one, and this smells just like it. It's actually really. It sounds silly, but it smells really pleasing. It's not as rich as some of the Alva Habs. The Alva Habs. Um, it's not as niche smelling as the rest of them, if that makes sense. It's not as daring. But very pleasant. Very feminine almost. But again, you know me, I don't really see the point in having gender roles and fragrance. Guys must smell it this. Women must smell it that. You spend the money, you smell whatever the hell you want. You know, you, you can wear whatever. You smell however you want. You know, if you... You want to smell feminine? Hell, do it. I mean, do your own as marketed to men. And it smells more feminine than Black Orchid by Tom Ford. And that's for women. So, yeah. Don't forget Encrenoir and Sycamore. But, yeah. Very baby. Very tutti fruity. <laughs> tutti. It smells very tutti fruity indeed. Yeah. Blast the berries there. But like bitter berries. Like in Pokemon. Bitter berry. <laughs> 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 Bitter! <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, not for me, Mason. <laughs> it smells really nice and pleasing, though. Really nice. Now let's talk about performance. This one performed very well. I got a solid um, 12 hours out of this one. From what I could detect, it was going for 12 hours easily. Um, so, solid 12 hours plus, um, um, definitely. But this one, longevity-wise. Projection, it was actually pretty good in projection. Projected very well for most of its life. It started to die down. About from what I could, The thing about oils is it's hard to tell in the projecting. I've noticed with oils, it's much harder. So I might be digging my nose in now. But like someone could walk in this door right now and be like, oh, it smells of berries in here. Like Choco Musk is famous for that, where I think it's not projecting, but it's filling the room. So, with more I could tell projection-wise from asking people and people in my house and stuff, um, this was projecting quite heavily for the definitely the first couple of hours, without a doubt. So projection with this one's pretty decent, yeah. So projects well and great longevity, as with most of the oils that I ever have. Most oils are pretty damn good in longevity, although some don't project. But anyway, this one does. So, age group. Well, um, uh, age group with this one, I could see it being worn from the age of 16 to 60. A teenager, a teenager could rock this, no problem. I could really imagine all these teenage girls, you know. It's like when I was in the train, you know, and all these uh, one time all these teenage girls got on from school and they walked by and it was like explosion of different perfumes, you know. Oh, citrus and florals and rose and, and berries and berries and oh, she's wearing flower bomb and lady million. It's sad I could detect what fragrances they were wearing, but yeah, this could be worn at 16 or 60. If a teenager wore it, I wouldn't be surprised. The 60 year old was wearing it, I wouldn't think, oh. So yeah, age group not too bad. Now, where to wear this one? I think this one's pretty versatile, if I'm quite honest. It very smells kind of fresh, again, with that bitter vibe. So, um, uh, seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, no problem, in my opinion. Go a bit easy on, uh, um, with it on the summer, though. Um, but you could wear it. It isn't too bad. And go a bit easy with it on the summer and go for a fresher smelling one, if that makes sense. But um, you could wear it in summer with very light application. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, it's um, pretty good. So I would definitely recommend this mostly for autumn, winter, and spring. Summer, risk it if you want to, but it's not die hard out there. Now, where to wear this situation-wise? Work, quite nice. You can smell it for work. Clubbing, perfect for that. Going on a date, perfect for that. Although I would go with something like Choco Musk for a date, personally, and for clubbing, because it's sexy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Formal event. Not so much. Um, I'll go again. Choco Musk would do better on the formal event because it smells classy and it's a good one. This one smells okay, but it's a bit sweet and sort of. Um, this is like for play more than work. If you know what I mean. That doesn't mean you can't wear it to work, but you know what I mean. It's not like Tuscan leather smells formal. This smells like you know a summer dress. It could be worn with this or something. Uh, it smells like play. If you know what I mean. Clubbing dates, etc. Casual wear. Formal events. The only one I couldn't see has been pulled off. Depends on you if you want to rock it, but there are definitely there are other options out there um, that are better. Choco Musk would easily work in a formal occasion, whereas this would struggle a bit. It does have a sort of playtime vibe. But yeah, Tutti Musk for the price. Great scent from Alva Hab. I'm finding myself really enjoying it. Bit in the feminine side, but hell, you know, what is feminine? You know, what is feminine? How do we know what's masculine and feminine? Because we're told. We are told. This smells masculine, this smells feminine, we're told by the media, we're told by TV, we're told by sales assistants, we're told by magazines what to wear. Do not be a robot, don't be told what to wear, wear what you want and be free. Rise up with the Lex Army, dun 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 dun, we wear whatever we want. We're the Lexus Fragrance Army, dun 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 dun, okay enough of that. But yeah, so anyhow that's Tutti Musk, great Alva Hab scent, great price, great projection, damn good. So yeah, don't forget, it's my fragrance video guys. Don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comments, like, share and subscribe. And as always, keep on smelling extra fly. Because you'll need to if you try and wear this in a formal event.